Hey everyone, my name is Alex and today we're going to talk about stiff hips. Specifically, we're going to talk about what I mean when I say stiff hips, the several causes of this type of condition, and what you can best do to minimize the stiffness in your hips. We know that a lot of you are working from home right now and it's especially important to find every way to minimize discomfort and feel your best. So let's get started. Now what do I mean when I say stiff hips? Most of us intuitively know what this is anytime that we're getting up from sitting for a long period or we're just getting out of bed in the morning. Words you might use to describe this are achy, tight, or stiff. This is not to be confused with other conditions such as advanced arthritis, labral tears, and severe impingement syndrome. If you think that you have one of these conditions or you're unsure, make sure that you talk to your physical therapist or your primary care doctor before trying anything in this video. For most of us, most of the time, this feeling of stiffness that we get when we're first standing up out of a chair or we're getting out of bed in the morning is due to muscular imbalances and overall tightness with some of the tissues that we have in our hips. The explanation for this is fairly simple. The human body is very well designed for walking, running, and dynamic movements. It's not so well designed for sitting, which is what most of us do during our daily lives and at work. Over time, these prolonged sitting postures cause certain muscles to get short, certain muscles to get long, and our joint capsules to tighten up a little bit. All of these together contribute to that feeling of stiffness in your hips. So what can you do about it? Fortunately for most of us, staying active is the single best way to reduce feelings of stiffness and improve the mobility in your hips overall. Best of all, it doesn't take a whole lot of knowledge to maximize the benefit from the time that you put in to improving the mobility in your hips. So today we're going to go over two simple techniques that you can try to improve the mobility in your hips and reduce the feeling of stiffness and tightness that you might get during your normal day. The first technique that you can utilize is stretching. Stretching in PT is roughly defined as lengthening a muscle to improve your flexibility. Lucky for us, there are a couple big bang for your buck stretches that you can try for the front and the back of your hip to improve your flexibility and mobility. The ones I'm going to show you today are a kneeling hip flexor stretch and a figure four glute stretch. So let's check them out real quick. First, let's perform our kneeling hip flexor stretch. All you have to do is get down on the floor or a mat and then bring one knee forward. From here, you can think about gently tucking your pelvis underneath you and then shifting your weight forward. Try to feel a stretch in the front of your hip. From here, switch to the other side to make sure you get both hips. Next, let's try a figure four stretch. All we have to do is get down on our back and then from here, cross our legs. Now, once you're in this position, just grab the lower leg and pull it toward your chest. Make sure to hit the other side and stretch that one out for 30 seconds. Once you've had your fill of stretching, the next thing you can try is soft tissue mobilization. Although soft tissue mobilization may sound complicated, it's actually very simple and is simply defined as applying pressure to mobilize some sort of muscle or surrounding tissue. Two of my favorite tools for achieving this in your hip are the foam roller and a lacrosse ball. So let's go ahead and try both of those out really quick. To use a foam roller on the back of your hip, simply sit down and then put it underneath your knees. From here, what you can do is cross your legs and then put one hip on top of the foam roller. Try and find the tough spots in your hip and then apply some extra pressure there, rolling back and forth.
make sure to hit the other side for good measure. Next, we'll use our lacrosse ball to work out the really specific parts in the grooves of our hip. Some of you might find that a tennis ball is enough pressure, but today we'll use a lacrosse ball which is much firmer. Just like the foam roller, all you have to do is tuck it underneath your hip and you're set to go. And don't forget the other side. Now that you've had a chance to try out some stretches and some soft tissue mobilization techniques for your hip, hopefully your hips are feeling a little more loose, mobile, and overall less stiff. Try to create a structured routine that requires less than 10 minutes out of your day and try to knock it out a couple times a day. See how different you feel over time and record it. You might be impressed at how much of your discomfort is actually just due to inactivity during your day. And you might be impressed at how far a little bit of activity will go at improving your comfort overall. All right guys, that's it for today. So make sure to give these a try. And if you have a favorite mobility routine, put it down in the comments and let us know.